All right, so this is a quick how-to video on how I got um, calls, text, and data to work on a iPhone 5 Sprint. Just so you can see the uh, Hopefully it zooms. There we go. So it's a MD657 LLA. If you check that, that is a, um, a Sprint iPhone 5. So the first thing I did with these phone um, is I, I jailbroke it. This phone is on 7.1.1. Jailbroken with the Pamgu exploit. All right, so let's. The next thing I did was um, was added the the iSAM team repo. I'm not sure if you can see it. I Sam Team Repo. I'll add it in this description. And I installed the one, two, three, the third patch from the top to bottom. And it, it'll be this one. The iOS 7 5C 5S and iPhone 5 um, RSync patch. <clears throat> And you get this app just go ahead and open it close out of it you don't really need to open it after that I went back into Cydia re well first rebooted the phone about two times went back into Cydia and searched for iFile I installed it And then it goes into right here. And after that, I followed this guide that's online. Um, I actually I actually saw it on on a forum. So all credit goes to um, NumWeb. So you can follow him on Twitter on NumWeb at NumWeb. So here we go. <clears throat> to start with the guy, I'll, I'll put the I'll put the link for this in the description too. But here's what you're basically gonna do: Cydia, install iFile, and then you're gonna navigate to um, you're gonna go to the root directory, you go to System Library Carrier Bundles, and then iPhone. Here you're gonna search for the Sprint LTE.US that bundle and then you're gonna rename it to Sprint LTE US old dot bundle and then you're gonna search for the the carrier lab bundle and you're gonna rename it to Sprint LTE US dot bundle after that reboot the phone about two times and your text out and in should work fine because the Sprint phone has the problem where either your your text messages don't work or your calls don't come in from from my experience or your your um your web doesn't work at all edge nor 3G so you'll just have like like calls in but not out or vice versa it depends I've had it had it differently um but here go back to the iPhone alright so after I did that I rebooted the phone about two times because the first time it didn't um, my text messages were, were still not going out but they were coming in and after I rebooted twice then it was working fine so 
So, uh, wait. There we go. And so, Edge Edge is working fine on my phone. I did manage to get 3G on there, but it was too much of a hassle because I kept getting drop calls and um, and my texts weren't working. So, might as well with with Edge, and it's pretty stable. It's really stable actually because I can reboot and I can take out my SIM card, pop it back in. And most of the time it'll start searching by itself. So I guess I'll do a quick test for y'all so y'all can see that it's that it is actually working. See I came back on. Okay, so send the mess in the text real quick. There we go. All right. Mm -hmm. So, there we go. That's that. Calls. Let's go here and recent. And I'll go ahead and call my um, cell phone carrier. So yep, it's working. Um, pretty much everything's working. Except 3G, I can get it to work, but like I said, it's too much of a hassle. And I, I am using um, a customer just brought this phone in. They wanted a new number, so anytime I do the unlocks, I always use a. Let's see if I can use it to zoom in. I always use a um, 128K SIM card. regular size and then I I cut it down to a nano sim um, for me this is the most effective way to get them to unlock because if, if you go and buy them if you go and buy a sim card that's like uh, see if I can find one like already nano sim like this one most of the time it's not gonna work you have to have a 128k sim card for it to work well um, I'll leave everything in the description all the links and the guide also and if you have any other questions just let me know